Hey, what's up everybody? Big shout out to everybody that's been following me throughout this whole journey. We're gonna try end 2020 on a big bang with this big tournament going on. Hopefully we do well. This vlog is gonna be a special one. It's gonna be everything leading up to the big tournament coming up soon. So we're gonna have some cool pit stops, some delicious food, some nice scenery, and most importantly, some high intensity ping pong. So make sure you watch to the end, guys. If you guys are in the Sugarland Katy area, go check out Houston Badminton Center where you can check out some competitive badminton, but more importantly, you can check out one of my favorite coaches, Coach Wong. If you ever want to get good in ping pong, hit her up. Link will be in the description. In this lesson, we're going to practice on a couple of small but very important things. Tighten up my server turns in my games. Oh, and shout out to my boy Keith for joining me on this lesson. Here, Coach Wong is showing me the angle to efficiently receive side spin serves, especially to the forehand side. Notice how the ball almost immediately drops as soon as she receives my serves. In this drill, I'm receiving a combination of side spin serves, whether it's side top or side under. I have to focus on the point of contact whenever she's serving, and then also the placement. Once I identify what spin she's doing, I have to either choose to flick or push the ball, whichever is the most efficient in the scenario, or looks the coolest. Here she's just returning my flicks and then I'm just following up right after. The next thing I really wanted to work on was my down the line backhand. Here my coach is stressing that for a high quality backhand down the line, you have to constantly adjust your positioning. Here are some before training shots. And here are some after training shots. Yeah, so after a while I got comfortable with making a lot of small adjustment rather than one big adjustment to the backhand. Overall, I'm more than happy that I took these lessons. Later on in the video, you'll see that I applied almost all these techniques in the tournament. First pit stop down, we got about 70 more miles or about an hour worth of driving for our next pit stop. We're pretty hungry, so let's go eat.
What's up, y'all? So we finally made it to San Antonio. So the food over at uh, Schulenburg. Schulenburg? Schulenburg. Schulenburg. Schulenburg? Schulenburg. Yeah, so a little cafe in Schulenburg is pretty good. Brussels sprouts is pretty good. Pizza was pretty good. Uh, we didn't wait for dessert. We were pretty full. And then I feel like we were about to be in a food coma if we did drive back over here. But it was just quick stops. We were short on time. And then, like, dude, like I said earlier, it got dark really quick. We had to prepare for a more eventful day tomorrow. Um, we got practice in the morning with Vlad, which is the president of the San Antonio Table Tennis Club. And then we got a whole bunch of food places uh, planned out. We're trying to get some practice in and relax a little bit before the big tournament coming up tomorrow. Or the day after tomorrow. So, wish us luck. Hopefully training goes well tomorrow. And then hopefully the tournament goes even better. Got anything to say, babe? Ping pong is light. Alright, see you tomorrow. Shout out to my boy Vlad for helping us out in short notice. If you're ever in the San Antonio area and want to become pro in ping pong, hit him up. Link will be in the description below. Hey, what's up, bro? I'm chilling, man, chilling. That table? All right, cool, cool. Since this is the day before the tournament, we're not gonna really do anything too crazy. More like a review for this training session. What's up, y'all? So it is Friday morning or afternoon, mid afternoon, no, mid afternoon. It's just afternoon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got done with the practice session with Vlad. Uh, it was kind of rough. It was. We weren't. We weren't ready. My girlfriend brought out a good point that she felt like we were. She was still in the work mindset because it was Friday, and then we had Friday off. But I mean, after towards the end of the session, it was it was a lot better. So right now we are at Two M Smokehouse. If you're in Texas, you gotta get barbecue, and if you're in San Antonio, you gotta get Tex Mex. So this place is like a good combination of the both. They're frequently like always the top five results for the best barbecue in San Antonio. So we'll tell you guys how good it is. This whole day is gonna be really eventful. We're gonna have like a lot of things. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. Enjoy the B. Roll.
is gonna be our last clip for tonight, guys. We're gonna be chill, try to take it easy for the tournament tomorrow. Nah, I'm super excited. It's gonna be a big, big tournament. But we'll see how it is, guys. Thanks for watching. the time has come we have been training for weeks for this big tournament guys a big special thank you to everyone currently watching this video i hope you guys are enjoying the journey throughout these videos and a big thank you to all my friends teammates and coaches for supporting the dream i love competing in these tournaments and the people that you meet along the way whether it's directly in person or online and please remember to give a like and sub for the youtube algorithm now let's get to the action So this is my first time playing against Michael. Uh, I know he's a goofy guy and he's a good counter hitter. So my strategy in this game was try to give him some spinny balls. This strategy seemed to work as the game went on. He was having trouble uh, controlling my backhand open or my side spin from my backhand. But as the game progressed, uh, Michael started getting more warmed up and more comfortable with my shots and started counter hitting more. And in the end, we had some good rallies too. My boy Elliot the Kraken. Me and Elliot go way back in the college days from the University of Houston. He was actually my uh, first opponent in my first ever ping pong tournament at uh, the rec league. Um, I remember vividly him beating me just from chopping because I'd never experienced what a chop or a backspin was. I just kept smashing the ball and it kept hitting the net, not knowing what's happening. But just like back then, Elliot's serve return is really good. He's he's really good at giving the ball like a weird side spin push, and it can throw people off if you're not paying attention. But for this game, my strategy was just uh, be aggressive as possible, take every opening, and try and move, move him around. So this is also my first time playing Nikolai as well. Um, so I'm coming in the same mindset as Elliot from the last game. I'm trying to be aggressive as possible and take every opening. But Nikolai is doing the same thing. So I'm playing a little bit more passive and control and trying to move him around. Because I do notice um, he's planting his feet and uh, not really moving much. So I'm hoping to um, catch him off balance.
for this set, I tightened up my serve because I noticed that he was losing focus. So I try to get as much point as I can just from serve and three point ball alone. I hope you guys can hear me. It's gonna be pretty loud in here. Uh, they have like another tournament going on in the back. But quick recap. So the first event, the under 1900, I was the second seed. Uh, it was pretty good. The first match, for some reason, I felt a little nervous, so I was pretty stiff. But up until after the second match, I started feeling a little bit more warmed up, a little bit more loose. But the last match against the first seed, I, was, I felt like I was a little passive, but I was playing smart. So I'm going to try to be more offensive my next games and matches. Uh, so I went 3-0 in my group, so I'm advancing. I'm the first seed now. Uh, my next matches are the Open and the Under 2100. So hopefully it goes well, guys. See you soon. Up, Quick recap. So the second event under the under 2100. I was the second seed. It was against Dino and then Samuel. Dino was pretty close. It was two three. Um, I am really worried about that game. Cruz Cortez 1100. Wow. My boy Jerome in the background playing. Playing like a beast. Shout out to Jerome. How hey, you doing, great buddy? But yeah, I guess the first seed lost against that. It was okay. Not too worried about it. And then the third seed, 3-0. I felt like I got lucky that game. Samuel usually plays a lot better, but he's a little passive, so it's whatever. So, so far for both events, I'm advancing. We're still waiting for the under 19 and under 2100, the advanced group, the semifinals, I guess. So, we might be here for a while. But, excited to play the Open. Hopefully it plays pretty good. So, keep watching, guys. Tune in. Saqib. Saqib's a teammate at our at our club. Uh, he's a good blocker and also a good counter hitter. He likes to hit the ball very early. And he's pretty consistent at it too. So my strategy coming in was just be ultra aggressive since he was just blocking. But most of my forehand shot was off. I'm gonna say Sakeep was good at um, blocking and putting the pressure on me, forcing my timing to be off. Because I would either over hit or just wasn't ready to reset in position for the next shot, and it was just really bad. this set I was adapting more so I was taking my time with the shots and then waiting for the shots to come to me and then hopefully um, try to make the opens more stronger or spinnier so that he can't really block them that well and just you know attack as much as I can for this set But in the end, Sakeep got me with his consistency and control. Uh, good game. This one hurt, man. It was a single elimination for the first group under 2100. Alright guys, here's the main event. The Open. So, surprisingly, I didn't get wrecked too bad. 
You know, some of these clips, I was actually hanging in there and giving them a fight in some, uh, some of these shots. But the reason why I was trying to work on my serve return the week prior was for this particular reason. Um, at this level, their, their serve and serve returns are just at a different level compared to 17, 18, 1900s. It's just at a totally different level. I mean, Joshua here has a amazing uh, hook serve that he disguised really well after I, I watched this video. Yo, shout outs to you, man. Dude, this guy inspired me to just up my serve game even that much more. Uh, originally, when I saw his serve, uh, when I was re-watching this video, I was kind of, I was kind of mad at myself that I didn't caught what he did. Uh, so for this game, Keith was giving me some good rallies. Uh, towards the middle of the game, I noticed that he was uh, coming in and out for lobs and block shots. So I was trying to make him come in more with my backhand. But in the end, I kind of shoot myself in the foot because I was a little bit too passive and there were like free shots for my backhand to attack. I should have taken it, but lesson learned next time. Keith was actually nice enough to give me some uh, tips how to improve my game at the end of the game. Shout out to you, man. I hope you get better. You too, bro. Hello guys! <laughs> What's up guys? So, I got stomped on on the open, but that's okay. I was like the bottom seed and it was a good experience playing against those guys. We played around 9, 10 a.m. and it's currently like 6, 7 p.m. right now. So we've been playing for a while, almost, almost 12 hours, close. But yeah, I just got through with my second round of the under 1900, played my boy Matt, it was a tough match, but got through it in advance. So I think I'm in the in the semi-finals or quarter-finals now, we'll see. I'm still waiting on my uh, second round for the under 2100, but I don't know if I can make it y'all, I'm pretty dead and tired, I'm, I'm hanging in there, I don't know if y'all can see or tell, but I'm sweating. But hey, this is what we came here for, this is what we trained here for. I don't know, I'm pretty happy and excited throughout all these matches. I'm doing pretty good so far, so I can't complain. And this is a really big tournament. It's a high level tournament and it's exciting to be back, it's exciting to play. So I'm looking forward to all these matches. I hope you guys do too. And remember to hit that like and subscribe button. All right, so this is my last and final event for the whole tournament. I made it all the way to the quarterfinals for the under 1900. Melvin's actually the number three seed in this uh, event. Um, from the first few shots, his serves are freaking spinny, like loaded with side spin. So I'm pretty happy that the lesson with Coach Wong helped me out a little bit, but even then I can barely manage it. But during the match, I was adjusting and trying to move him around. 
because he seemed like he was having a hard time uh, attacking my mid long balls. This last set I'm a little mad about because I was honestly too stubborn to adapt. I know he was targeting my backhand with his long side spin serve and I really wanted to attack it back using my backhand. I could have honestly easily stepped around but I was too stubborn to do it. I mean next time I might uh, do one step around or two but I only got like one or two backhands off his serves compared to the five serves he did. It is currently almost one. What's up everybody? It's currently like almost one in the morning and I'm trying to finish this vlog. Uh, it should be up by this afternoon. Again, big special thank you to everybody watching this video all the way to the end. It really means a lot to me. I put in a lot of uh, effort for these vlogs and I'm happy that you guys enjoy them as much as I do. I started this whole journey in progress for fun, honestly, but more importantly to make ping pong or table tennis seem fun for all ranges of skills. From people not knowing the difference between ping pong and table tennis to people getting into the sport and then all the way up to people that are like 2000s just to enjoy the video. That's the ultimate goal really, just for everybody to enjoy ping pong or table tennis. I started by a rating from unrated to 800 and dug my way out through the trenches and climbed all the way up to where I'm at now and hopefully climb even more so in the future. But starting from zero makes you appreciate where you come from and where everybody starts because everybody got to start somewhere. So I try not to critique people too hard on their form and whatnot unless they ask for it because they're just there to play for fun. In the end, it's just a game, but at the same time, in the end, the game means more than life to some people. Pong is life, y'all. I'm gonna send y'all off with a... If you can, leave a like or a sub for the YouTube algorithm. And thank you for joining me, guys. And thanks for making 2020 fun. Well, what do I do now?